that's kind of the counterplay. That's, you know, how you deal with that playstyle is you just basically don't interact. Mm -hmm. And he relies on opponents who are, like, willing to get impatient. But as we've seen from Cake, he's totally fine waiting. Yeah, he's he's truly mastered being an assassin over his career in Rivals, right? Knowing that sometimes you got to wait for a while before you get to split your opponent. And a big part of that has been his implementation of smoke play. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, he was very in your face trying to pressure you that way. But as of late, we've seen him be more comfortable putting smoke out, put the clone out through the smoke so you have no idea, is that actually a cake? Is that a clone? You know, I'm getting deceived all the time. And <laughs> even if you hit the clone, you know, it doesn't really affect cake whatsoever. And that's the, the insane thing about clone is that it's just constant pressure that you have to respect. But even if you hit it, you can get whiff punished for it. Right, exactly. Because you still also have like the hit pause of hitting yes. the clone. And cake is good enough of a player to react to that. Looking for that down air, doesn't find it, but instead finds the back air. Oh, Cake okay. looking for something perhaps out of Zara. But Zara sneaking back on stage. This is still really scary for him. And he's to get him on the top platform, though. And a bit of hesitation there from Zara. Like, Cake was on top of the platform charging that up strong. But Zara just not ready to bite yet. So we are seeing him being a bit more patient, waiting for, you know, the exact opportunity. But it's that sweet spot. It's, you know, being able to take the opportunities when they present themselves. Because when you're fighting a player like Cake, you have to be able to seize that one chance that he gets you. Because if you let him slip, if you let him get back on, he will build percent on you so quick. And we're seeing that here. 65 on Zara. The edge guard's still going. Oh, boy. And this is, again, Zara's finding these straight hits, but they're not leading into anything lethal. And that gives take us a little bit more time to live. Finally, though, the, the down strong getting Zaro the stock that he needs, but 86%. This is around the same percent where Kekasol was really able to take Zaro's previous stock, too. Yeah, and especially if he gets that third stack of smoke. Cake traditionally, not a combustor, which is very strange considering the amount of setup Sportsburn has into it, but that's just never been his playstyle. He likes to have, you know, that smoke on the stage, that kind of, you know, deception element to it, and he can get confirms like this. Sour back air, you know, the latest hit into the down strong, closing up Zara's second stock. And I do love, like, one thing that Cake does do often is he'll finish up his stack on stock change because he's usually at a pretty high percent where he can use it as a smoke screen. Yeah. Or if neutral goes really well, he can then use it as a combust to clinch out the game. And we have that smoke screen up in that corner. That's going to give him some shelter, but he gets sent in the opposite side, so he's not going to get to teleport into it. Zaro evening it up very quickly. And Cake is a braver man than I am. You see him going in with down air 130 into Orkane. Like, <laughs> you don't do that, especially against Zaro. You do not do that. And, you know, Zaro was able to get the second stock, but. He needs, you know, he needs something. He mm. needs some major opening right now where Cake's just going to close this out. Cake's in a fantastic position, not just to, uh, to pressure Zara from both ends, right? Whether he goes for the puddle or not. Oh, we've got to look out for that up air. Up air combust. Oh, Actually, interrupting the combust! <laughs> he manages to find the opportunity. That Nair does interrupt. Oh, God, you got, your heart stops. Oh, the back air does it right there. Oh, that got really scary for a moment. Cake drifted in there, and if Zara was ready for an upstrong, that could have just been the game. <laughs> like, or Kane upstrong is the strongest KO move in the entire game, for those who don't know. So, yes, it would have killed there. Nothing Cake could have done about it. And that's that's what's so terrifying, is that or Kane as a character has such good frame data and such good kill power. Yes, yeah, being able to... We see uh, Zaro essentially blender people at lower percents with like tick chasing and option coverage with bubbles and then get that single read, which he loves going for uh, in order to close out a lot of stocks as well as his punish game. But right now he's going to be going to Air Armada as his counter pick. I assume the idea is the smaller blast zones to help him out. It looks like he's been having a hard time recovering. So just going for a smaller blast zone doesn't really affect him as badly as being able to get to the stocks earlier for himself because he's had a bit of trouble with that. We do have the potential for one unique interaction, which is Forsberg could go under the stage, teleport back on, because every other stage in this game has walls all the way down. Air Armada being the only one where most characters get pineapple, but Forsberg the one exception. Or Kane also having the puddle too. Mm -hmm. We're going to see some offstage shenanigans to be sure. Yeah, Cake stalling out in that cloud. Zaro immediately going to pressure that high platform. And we saw actually the uh, the parry immediately when Cake landed over the puddle. I think he was expecting either the bubble trap or the, the up special. And still surviving. Ooh, or right Cake's sweet corner. spot at 140. You are insane to live that. I have no idea how he does that. I die at 40 to that. Yeah. Cake is just built different. <laughs> But we're going to have to see more of that right now because he's still down that first dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not actually getting 
as big of an opening as I expected. Like, Zaro traditionally has insane combo game, like the best of any work in the world. But Verse Kick, you know, his DI is so good that it's hard to get those same long strings. And so we have to see the adaptation. We have to see, you know, is Zaro okay resetting? And the second stock is looking really good for him. Mm -hmm. I've just noticed, especially in this stock, Zaro has been playing a little bit more reserved, expecting Cake Assault to be going essentially for those constant falling down airs, yeah. right? Uh, and he's spun himself at a good position with the 86 onto uh, Cake Assault. Decides to spend his invincibility getting rid of the smoke, but that gives Cake Assault that opening immediately to get Zara off stage and to keep this going 50%, 62 now. Oh, here's what we know of Cake Oh, for. that was so close! It just inches away from getting the down strong. Probably wouldn't have KO'd at that percent, but oh. the damage would have been insane. And Zaro just barely touching stage before Cake Assault can land and getting the down strong. But this margin is a, is a, closer, lead, is a closer lead than uh, Zaro had previously. Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is Aramata. That is the shortest top blast zone in the entire game. Which further exaggerates, you know, the up air, the up strong. Like, Cake's at KO percent right now. Mm -hmm. Like, if Zaro hits an up strong, that's it. Cake finds himself a parry, 91%. But I'm seeing Zaro also have that confidence to jump around Cake Assault and bait out some parries himself, too. And this is the question. Does Zaro just go for the random KO moves? Can he even get out of disadvantage is the first question, yes. though. Oh! Cake going all the way off stage. 76% built on Zaro. Did Parry that. down strong. Perfect DI once again. And you need that on this stage. That could be the opportunity. No, just the, he's fishing. Zara's falling into the trap. The Orcane. Waits for the parry. Waits. Oh my gosh, that was. Zaro waited a beat, wanted to see that parry, didn't see it, and was thinking, okay, I'm just gonna run in and down strong now and catch Cake Assault waiting for me. And then Cake brought it out. It's so hard to see two players actually have that interaction with each other. Because in this game, again, everyone wants to just, all right, I'm next to you. I have to do something. But the fact that Cake expected Zaro to wait mm -hmm. for a parry, delay, and then parry afterwards himself, like that was such an insane way to close out that second game. Yeah, we were talking earlier about Cake Assault's adjustments, right? Like he recognized that Zaro was baiting out parries, getting little tiny bits of percent, happy little punishes for those, right? <laughs> and he didn't even need to lose a stock to that habit to be like, this is something Zaro's exploiting. I'm going to adjust to that right now. Good parry there, but I mean the side blast zones are also short, very are also very short here. And we see Zara, you know, he wants to get these KOs, but with Cake's DI being as insane as it has been, <laughs> still <alive>! surviving! Perfectly <laughs> timed! <laughs> And Zaro, like, he's struggling. Like, he's starting to panic now. He's not getting the KOs, KOs he thinks he should be getting. So now he's just throwing out random downstroms and Cake's capitalizing on it. Right, right there, teching in place to get through it. Oh, man, I thought that he was going to be able to crouch all of those bubbles. But still setting up so much pressure at the ledge, using that clone for that extra bit. Going to find the back Ooh. air and a two-stop lead now and combust ready to go. And that was a B reverse to set up for the back air there, too. Cake able to actually turn around with, you know, with the clone on cooldown, able to turn around for that backer and two stock lead here. Zaro still needs to find that first one, doesn't even get the weight there. He waited for the tech, which just was a little bit too early on the down strong. And this is looking awful right now. The sour back air closing it out, but a stock and a half down versus Cake on Rockwall. Good luck, my friend. Oh, no, he's it. That's it, yeah. Cake Assault is going to beat Zaro 3-0. Zaro had the full stage to teleport, and Cake Assault was still ready to cross all of Rockwall in time to punish.